Yes, that's right. It's Gabriella Stern. She's an assistant professor of biomedical genetics, biology, and neuroscience at the University of Rochester Medical Center. Her work so far before coming to URMC was focused on identifying how different actions by the fly activated different parts of the brain, which while still while, well in a fruit fly is still incredibly complex. Fruit fly brain has about 140,000 neurons and those neurons are connected together by about 50 million synapses. Which are impressive numbers until you compare it to those of our own brain. If you compare that to the human brain, the human brain has about 86 billion neurons connected together by trillions of synapses. So if you think about the human, the fly brain versus the human brain, it's really just orders of magnitude more complex. But it's that reason why they decided to start here. And even with the relative simplicity, it still took 10 years and hundreds of researchers and even some artificial intelligence. But it's worth it for what it can teach us about ourselves at a basic level. We want to understand some basic principles via which uh, groups of neurons work together. And we think that those principles will be the same between the fly and the human. And while that might not be exactly what ends up happening, according to Stern, there's still hope it will be enough to understand some fundamental principles that could open the door to a better understanding of our brain. The thing I think we can learn is those unifying principles of brain function. And if we can learn those in the fly, it will be that much easier to get the same principles of brain function in a human. And if we understand the basic principles of how the brain works, then it's going to be that much easier to understand how things go wrong in neurological disorders or disease states that impact brain function. Now, a few other goals listed by Stern included utilizing what is learned to further develop AI to operate more like a brain instead of a machine like it does now, as well as to potentially create better robotics and also to make the brain mapping process faster in order to start mapping more complex brains like that of a mouse, which is expected to be the next step up for this type of technology.